Hello, my name is Georgina and I'm here at the Friday Night Platform in Glackens in the Chestnut Tree in Virginia and I am joined by Kevin Casey all the way from Blanchardstown. Hello Kevin. How you doing? Great to be here. Delighted you came. How would you describe your musical style? Um, it's definitely rock and I kind of struggle with answering this question all the time because some people say oh, well, some of your songs are a little bit softer so rock is probably too harsh a word to use but I would definitely say rock and um, influenced by bands like The Clash. Right, okay. I really kind of write about what's around me, you know, uh, what I've lived through and what the people around me are going through. Like, uh, let's say for the new album, for instance, was really every song on it is a tale of someone close to me or about myself or my parents or, you know, a loved one or something. So they're all stories. I think it, it makes the song more meaningful and I think that's why you know, a lot of great songs last so long for people because they, they're writing about themselves and what they've, what they've been through and their experiences. So. so they're relatable to everyone? Absolutely, yeah, you know, some of them are. So you have an album coming out? Yeah, we started on this album probably about two years ago at this point. Normally, myself and the band, we, we book studio time and we kind of go with that, ah, shall be grand? You know, we'll, we'll just go in and we'll, we'll do it on the day or we'll do it throughout the week. But with this one, we, we spent a few weeks with pre-production. Um, in rehearsals before we booked any recording time, changed the songs, cut some songs off the list, added some, went back to the original 10 that we had. Um, then when we were, when we were ready before we went into the studio, which we recorded in Sun Studios in Dublin. So spent a couple of weeks there laying down basically with the drum tracks and the bass and everything like that. Took it away, listened to what we had, came up with more ideas, went back, started again. And it's going to bring us around to now, the, the first two singles have been out, the first was released in November. It was called A Star In Your Life. It's been well received, it's, it's done as proud, and that's the song that I wrote about myself, because uh, I think the title kind of gives it away. Yes. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're working hard on that. We, the third single is ready for, I say, the end of May. Okay. That'll be called Get Up, and then that will coincide with probably a, a month or two break, and then by the end of the summer we're hoping the album will be released, and that'll bring us into a, a launch, a big launch night in Dublin, and we head to Germany then in September. Way, yeah, for okay. A couple of shows over there in support of it. Right, okay. It's busy for us. And will there be a tour in Ireland then after that? Or yeah, we will. We'll kind of take it as it comes. It's really a kind of if I if I done no gigs in Ireland at all throughout the whole year, but the the album launch was a, a massive success. I'd yep. be happy with that. Yeah. But I would love to do to do as, as many as possible. You know, yeah. Maybe back here. Well, Kevin, thank you very much. No problem, thank you. And I'm looking forward to the gig tonight. Thank I'm you. sure is everyone so, uh, else. This is one with them shoulders of a star in the
joined by Ian Brennan. How are you? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks very much for having me. You're very welcome. And you're not a stranger to these parts. I'm not a stranger to these parts, no, no, no. I used to come here during the summer as a as a kid, myself and two friends used to go fishing on the lakes. Like here in Virginia, was it? Yeah, yeah. Right, so, okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's a good, oh. good crack on up here. Yeah. What kind of music do you play? Why, how would you describe your style? It's, it's pop music is what I, what I play, you know, it's very... Uh, Kind of heartfelt. It's very, it's, it's real personal stuff, and but it's stuff everybody can relate to. You know, it's it's yeah. it's everyday problems. Like I I I sit down to write. I, I don't just write anything. Like something has to happen, or something has to influence me to to write. So, for example, friends telling stories, or stuff that's happened to me, or, or stuff like that. You know how I used to get everything out growing up and dealing with things, just to just to write it into a song, and I'm, I just learned to kind of kind of create music that way. And, and first get into music? I remember my first gig as a child we uh we see I got a guitar and um my two younger cousins then one got a bass and one got a drum kit and we were like right well, let's just do a band because music kind of ran in my family yeah and um so we were like right let's get a band and let's get it going but sadly I'm the only one still playing the right. other two gave it up now but um we did our first gig I think I must have been 14 maybe 15 maybe 15 um did my first gig in a football club at a Battle of the Pants competition. We didn't win. <laughs> um, yeah, I did my first gig down there. I think I actually played an Oasis song and a U2 song. I think we played only oh, any originals, and then we kind of start writing together after that. One of it, one of the four songs I ever wrote was a song called Circles, and I actually still play it today. Okay. So I kind of, when I'm writing songs, I kind of have this process where I do. Um, it's only recently I've really taken this process up. It's I do kind of three drafts, and on the tour draft, if I'm really really happy with it, well then I know the song is done, you know. So I kind of when I was writing back then, of course I didn't I didn't have this process, and when I wrote Circles, it was a very different song. It was kind of like a punk kind of song. It was really fast and it was really it was weird. When you listen to it now, I'm, I'm sure it sounds real weird. But when I play it live now, it's it's slowed down and it's it's lovely. It's heartfelt and it's catchy and okay. the lyrics really come come across well and it means something, you know. Yeah. I have a new album which is going to be coming out hopefully at the end of this year. Yeah. It's going on the album, so I thought maybe it might be a, a good idea to take something that I, I did when I was a kid to kind of rejig it a bit and put yeah. it on the album. The end of the year, so it'll be towards Christmas that the album will be coming out. Uh, to be honest, um, I'm saying end of the year. But it could be. Cub spill in the January. I'm okay. hoping it's not gonna go past the new year. To be honest with you, it's been a long time coming, but it is coming, and it sounds absolutely mega. Last year I released my EP last March, okay. uh, Keep the Tape Rolling, and my single Game Over I released off that as well. But that's when things kind of really took off for me. It was when Game Over came out. Uh, got it on the playlist for RT Radio One, and, and, and got a quite quite number of big gigs out of it. Like I've done a couple of gigs with. Christy and Joel Vaslan, and I'm in Vicar yeah, Street next okay. Saturday night, sporting Mary Coughlin, so I'm really excited for that, yeah. Yeah, deadly. Yeah, yeah, deadly, so, so all thanks to this one song. <laughs> <laughs> Gigs around Cavan or Mead coming up, or um, are you no, going to be in I've, To be honest, I'm just off the back of a tour with my two friends, Greg Clifford and Barry J. Hughes. Okay. We did a big, huge tour of Ireland. We did 17 dates over 20 days or something mental like that. It was huge. Um, played everywhere at Park Haven, of course, for some reason. I don't know why, it's no offence to anybody <laughs> in here whatsoever. It's just we tried to do a bike geography, but it didn't really work. Okay. <laughs> so uh, it was it was, it was, was so good to, to, to do something like that and to a first hand experience something that, that you always wanted to do as a kid, you know? Yeah. So when I did that, I kind of went, you know what, I'm going to not really gig around so much anymore. And I'm gonna focus mainly on online. Like next week at Vicar Street, what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to make maybe 20 minutes before I go on stage, I'm gonna do a live video, and then I'm gonna have someone in the crowd also on my page doing a live video. And just before I walk out, I'm gonna cancel mine, and that one will come on. Like I, I truly believe that there's gonna be a time where you don't go to gigs anymore. You just sit on Facebook. But sure, as I said, I we live stream everything here. Yeah, that's great. But everyone should come to the Chestnut and watch the live show. <laughs> <laughs> but I do uh, live stream everything. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's great. Yeah. You know, I think that if if, if I want to put a <laughs> bedroom a concert on my bedroom, I can just yep, yeah, let's go live on Facebook and let's sit here yeah. with the guitar and let's just sing to it. 
however, however many people want to watch it. But anyway, I hope you look forward to tonight's gig and hopefully it'll be great. Thanks very much. This track's called Game Over. Cheers, good night. Hello guys. Hey, yeah. So I'm gonna get you to introduce yourselves one by one. I'm Calvin. I'm Connor. I'm Tommy. I'm Davy. And where are you all from? Uh, I'm from Calvin, just like Tommy here. Yes. <laughs> Thank from, you, Calvin. <laughs> I'm from the great state of Limerick. Yeah. I'm from Mead. Well, how did you end up here from Limerick? Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> Bad life choices. That's you don't want to hear that. <laughs> First day of college, you slept. Uh, uh, slept there. Well, yeah. There's no place to live. And now he lives with me. Yeah. <laughs> and where are you in college? Uh, Dundalk IT, DKT. So how long have you been together, playing together, like? Uh, 
probably what since that's October, November. Like. Yeah, I think it's not, it, that, it's not that long, really. Uh, no, yeah. about, about we're, November. We're doing really good. We really know all each other last year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all hate each other. As well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are these lads, June Ambassador, and uh, like we had to show them around the college and stuff. But yeah. we're meant to take them to live. We just, we just show them how to talk to girls. Don't need that, Dave. So is everyone still doing Ridley's actually? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ridley, Ridley, no, we go no, to Bruce now. No, like, oh, right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just, no. Someday we'll play in that. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. I'd love to play in Bruce. We have to play the smoking shelter and then just not go downstairs. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some days you play the spirit storm as much, you want to say. We did. We actually have played. Did you? Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what was that like? It was, it was really stressful because he didn't show up. Yeah. Like. <laughs> he I came in dressed like the like Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five minutes beforehand I landed up because I was uh, singing in score. So I had to like, I was in Tyrone I think, so I had to like, Race up for the gig in the spare store. Yeah. Right, but, okay. Uh, that was good crack. Yeah. I looked like I came from a wedding. You did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had some sort of casual yeah. clothing. We just left some poor young one crying there at the altar. Outside the blaze rang. Well, they were all there going, he made an effort. Yeah, yeah he sure did. Exactly. He made the <laughs> effort. He made us all look sloppy. <laughs> like. <laughs> Are you writing your own music now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. And have you uh, any singles coming out or an album coming out, or is that something that you are working we're on now? Oh, yeah. We're recording a single soon, and maybe in about two or three weeks, hopefully. Yeah. Right. right okay. Yes. We're yeah, doing we're that Nabby Lane and dropping it. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna yeah. get that single down, and then we're gonna get a couple of pals of ours, and we have a little recording company, a little production company called Parachute Productions, and we're gonna gonna do the rest of our EP with them. Yeah. 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 And will you be touring then after that? Or Hopefully, yeah. 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 We're kind of based in Limerick for the summer, so we'll be kind of yeah. going around the place. Oh. I know, yeah. I was in Limerick for the first time before Christmas. Oh, yeah. Where'd you like, go? It's Limerick City. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of it. <laughs> so, what instruments do you all play? Guitar. <laughs> We all play guitar. We all play yeah, guitar. Yeah, we all play guitar. Um, Acoustic, all electric. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We all sing. We make it work. I, I play the bass. Yeah, Bob plays the bass. Yeah. There's harmonica in there as well. The yeah. Folk. Yeah. 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 What kind of style is your music? What would you describe yourself mm. as? I'm going to say folk. Yeah. 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 Trying a folky thing. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we should have a little meeting by that one. She asked, like, what kind of music? Yeah, yeah, we all should have, like, cuddled yeah, in. Yeah. 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 I'm saying folk is what we're kind of like. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, we do. Pop folk. We like I would even yeah, say pop folk. Folky pop. Okay. Because like. yeah. okay. we all kind of have our. Uh, like, uh, Good music. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, that, thanks very much for coming to the. No worries. And hope you have a great gig tonight. So do we. Thank you very much. No problem. I'm going to set off with our, uh, our first single from our upcoming EP, so uh... i 
Shows of 